Hi, I'm Ryan Stewart, a platform evangelist with Adobe. I've been playing with the new multi-touch and gesture APIs that are part of Air 2, which is currently in public beta on Adobe Labs, and the monitor I've got here is a compact touch monitor, so it lets me do both raw multi-touch inputs as well as gestures, and I can even create my own gestures with the Air 2 APIs. So what I've done is I've combined the supported gestures that are in Air 2, so just the out-of-the-box gestures, with the Google Maps Flash API. You can see I've got a map here almost in full screen in terrain mode, so there's not rain here. And like you'd expect, I can use some of the gestures as well as the, the finger movements to just kind of navigate the map pretty basically. So when we move it, the map will move. We can use the pinch gesture to zoom in or zoom out. Get a bigger picture of Washington there. So kind of a typical map experience that you may have seen on some mobile devices. But one of the things that's unique about the Flash API for Google Maps is that we have 3D support. We added 3D transformations in Flash Player 10, and the Google Maps team made it so that if you use Flash Player 10 and the special Map 3D classes, you can apply those transformations to the map itself. So what I've done is I've wired up some specific APIs or specific gestures here in Air 2 to those various 3D transformations. So if I do a pan gesture, which is just two fingers straight down or straight up, I can change the perspective of the map. So you see we're tilting it a little bit, come down, tilt it the right way, so we can maybe get a, get a bit of a flyover view so we can pull it down, there we go. I can also use the rotate gesture, which is pretty basic, just a rotate with two fingers to change the rotate perspective of the map. So there you go, kind of create my own little custom view. And now one of the cool things about being in 3D is the ability to kind of fly over the map, change the perspective, and there's a special fly-in API, so if I do a double tap gesture, then what's going to happen is it will fly me to the center of the map, so we'll go up here to the North Cascades, and we'll fly and see some detail in North, on the North Cascades. It'll bring me into the correct zoom level, and then we'll load those APIs, and I can still use the same APIs that I used before to kind of change how the map's going to look and move around. So by combining the Air 2 gestures and the Google Maps 3D API, I've created kind of a cool, unique way to browse the map that's fairly intuitive and allows me to really customize how the content's going to be viewed so I can go into a 3D mode and kind of play around and just sort of experiment. All the code here is available on my GitHub, and you can go to my blog, which is blog.digitalbackcountry.com, to grab the source code. And all you have to do is have a touch-enabled device and Air 2 public beta, and you'll be able to run this and start playing around and zoom in wherever you want to zoom into.